Minions of Technology, my name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look what's in the bag. So let's talk a little bit about the what's in the bag. My wife and I, we took a little trip over the weekend, had a great time. Yes, COVID-19, we decided we were going to run and actually enjoy ourselves for once. It was a miracle. So we stopped off into a couple antique stores and I found this. Now you guys know I'm a bit of a fan of vint vintage cameras and so worthy of seeing if I could find something else. And I ran into this little baby right here little older, a little dirtier, a little worse for wear, a little what's this string doing on here? So I want to take a look at this guy and do a little research on it. Uh, first thing I love is this. Uh, let me just wind this up here and let's put it in front of the microphone here and let's see if you can hear this. You ready? You can literally pull the trigger. <laughs> I love that sound so much. A uh, very cool camera, eight millimeter. This is called the M-Deco um, Metermatic Zoom, back when the word matic was actually rather interesting. So what I wanna do today is I literally wanna go ahead and look up some of the history on this camera and see if we can find a year range for when this camera was made. Now, by the way, you're gonna hear sounds in the background. My wife is doing dishes. We just got back from traveling. So yeah, she's making some noise back there. So please do not mind that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, break into this thing. You okay in there? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, break into this thing and see what we can find. I was gonna say, let's see if we can find any kind of serial number on this. Also unscrew the base here, which is the hand grip, and we'll go ahead and pull that out. The thing I find interesting is this is literally just a little needle that pops out and presses into that little tiny hole right there, which triggers this little trigger here. Still love that. And here's the thing that I find very interesting. The viewfinder here is actually really good too, which I can't exactly show you per se, but it's very decent. This has a zoom on it, and for some reason, it not only works the zoom in the lens, but it works the zoom in the cam, in like in the set, in the in the eye thing itself. So I can look, and I can literally zoom in, and see that happening, in the viewfinder. How cool is that? So here's the thing, though. I am not seeing any information whatsoever on this system. I'm not seeing any kind of serial number. Nothing. So this is where we're going to get nitty gritty. I think I found it. Right here on the bottom. Let's see if that comes into focus there for you guys. Not really. Maybe you don't care. There we go. So it's 5-59682. So let's see what we can find on this guy. Now one thing I did find kind of funny is you go, wow, vintage camera must be made in the U.S. That's great. Uh, you know what? Even, even, the old school stuff was uh, unfortunately made in Japan. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and look this up and see what we can find on this, shall we? And we're just gonna go ahead and start a search for M-Deco. And let's see what shows up. I saw M-Deco sewing machine. Okay, 1960s M-Deco sewing machine. It's amazing how companies seem to jump between things. I mean, if you think of, um, if you think of Honda, Motorcycles went to cars. Uh, you think of Yamaha made guitars, made cars, made... Did Yamaha make cars? No, motorcycles. I'm sorry. There's stuff like that. I mean, just amazing how these companies go, Oh, new interest. Let's go and check this out. They sound an awful lot like me because I get so involved in everything. It actually makes a lot of sense why businesses went, Hmm, a guitar. Let's try making a motorcycle. This is an obvious plan, right? All right, Mdeco Camera. Vintage M-Deco EM8000 Super 8. Okay, now here's the thing. This is an 8mm. Let's go take a look at this M-Deco camera. That is definitely not the same thing. So here's the thing. When was this camera made? Now, obviously, that camera looks a little newer. Here's another one here. There's a couple M-Deco cameras available for sale on um, eBay. I think we paid $20 for my camera. So $39. In distressed condition, please make sure to view all photos. <laughs> it's distressed. You know, that's called a patina, folks. 
I am not finding any information on age range of this so far. Mdeco CDS EM 5000. So we've seen the 5000. The other one was an 8000. So this Mdeco seems to go back a little bit further back into history because this looks nothing. This looks more, honestly, like my Bell and Howell here, my 333 Bell and Howell, uh, which I have over here, which I know is kind of out of focus at the moment. It looks more like this guy than it does like uh, like some of my other ones. So we're gonna we're gonna have to come back to that and see if we can find some more info on it. I love I love doing research like this. I love finding the history on some of these cameras and finding ones that seem to fit in the same area date range is pretty cool. Oh, what what is this here? Okay. This is looking a little closer to, to what I'm thinking here. Vintage MDeco Reflex Zoom Automatic Electric Eye 8mm camera. Now, it doesn't look exactly the same, but it's got the same switch on the side. It doesn't have the grooving on the side that mine has, but it's starting to take the shape of that camera. So it seems like we're starting to get in that range. Once again, no year for that camera. Now, with this kind of old camera type stuff, we're going to find ourselves with a situation where maybe serial numbers won't be very important. But let's just go ahead and try MDeco camera serial number. MDeco camera serial, learn to spell, serial number. Uh, where to find your serial number? Canon, no. So, so far, I am not finding any information on this MDeco camera. Images of MDeco camera serial number. Oh, what is this? MDeco zoom reflex. Now, is there a name for this? You know what? That used to say zoom. Now that I'm looking, that M is broken off. So that used to be a zoom. But it doesn't say what zoom. It just says 8 millimeter zoom. Unless it's the metermatic zoom. So let's try to look that up. MDeco metermatic zoom. All right, here we go. Now we've gotten a million pictures of it here. What is this? Why is this one the exact same thing named the Argus? Once again, we see the same situation that we have seen through time itself. And that is the idea that when it comes down to it, a company will make a camera and sell it under different brand names and we're seeing that even today not even not even cameras we're seeing that in all the gear that we buy off amazon these days but this is interesting because we're finding some actual results here um let's go ahead and take that same information now and try and look up the date range that it was made vintage argus metermatic once again argus let's see if there's any information on this website on it worth point made in japan obviously we figured that one out so far Cinepar Zoom F 1.8 lens. This is Cinepar Zoom F 1.8 lens. All right, so we've definitely locked down that Argus and MDeco are roughly the same company. So this is interesting information because if we need to, now we can also look up the Argus and see if maybe we can find more information on it. Super 8 database. Silent Super 8 cartridge from MDeco. MDeco International Incorporated out of Salt Lake City, Utah. They relabeled products of other companies under their name. They labeled other products under their name. So Argus, Argus was the original and MDeco is the rebranded name. So Argus seems to be what we need to be looking for. So we're looking pre-1967 so far, I think. As I'm looking at this, I'm calling this 19, earlier than 1967. So that gets me giddy, because right there, how old does that make this camera? That's, that's pretty cool. When were Argus cameras made? Fingers crossed. Oh, look at this. We got some old ones here. Actually, I think I've seen this before was a low-priced rangefinder camera mass-produced from 1939 to 1966. Now, that was their C3 model. Ooh, they got a camera company wiki. Okay, now we're on to something. 
Argus was an American maker of cameras and phot uh, photographic products, founded in 1936 in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So Argus originated as a subsidiary of the International Radio Corporation, founded by Charles Vershoor. Its best known product is the C3, which I am pretty sure I almost bought a C3 in a town right near me, uh, which enjoyed a 27-year production run and became one of the top-selling cameras in history. The company's Model A was the first low-cost 35mm camera in the United States. Argus was acquired by Sylvania, of course, in 1959 and sold off in 1969, which, w with time, it had ceased camera production. Some rebadged cameras continued to be sold under the Argus name through the 1970s. More recently, Argus brand had re been reestablished and used a variety of inexpensive digital cameras made by Argus Camera Company located in Interves, Illinois. Hey, check this out. In 1941, Abbott and Costello filmed the, Na the in the Navy features Claire Dodd, whose character chases Dick Powell's character around trying to phot photograph him with an Argus C3. And uh, in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Colin Creevy of uh, the Gryffindor Shutterbug is shown using an Argus C3 with a flash attachment to take wizard photos of Harry Potter. That's cool. Okay, now this is interesting. Look at this. Argus A, A, F, B, C... C2, come on, fingers crossed, give me a video camera. Argus K, double A. Come on, give me a video camera. Prototypes. Nothing, though. Before 1939, Argus was International Research Corporation, having uh, enveloped from International Radio Corporation, an innov innovative maker of Bakelite radio sets. President Charles Vershore saw the business opportunity uh, branch out into Bakelite 35mm camera as well. The first Argus, the Argus A, resulted in a patent the company received in 1936, and its surprisingly affordable cost made it a great success. Thus, it was this American company that bought 35mm film in Kodak's 135 cassette format to mass market that would not afford costly Leica Zeiss German Kodak Retina lenses. By the 1950s, Argus had become significant force in the Ann Arbor economy. Several buildings from its heyday still stand. Two are now used by the University of Michigan. But the main original factory is now remodeled as an office space and renowned by C3 Partners, probably because of C3 Camera. It, this building includes a public area in an upstairs lobby where permanent exhibition of Argus cameras is shown, the Argus Museum. Argus's factory was located, see, this is where I would love to, like, take a trip to there and, like, see that for myself. A-series. C-series. Not Siri. I'm, Siri thought I was talking to her. Tronic series. TLR series. Other series. Nothing on the Zoom. <sighs> keep, keep coming up dead. Keep coming up with nothing. This is very unfortunate because I, I feel like I am so close and yet there's something that's just not giving me that answer I'm looking for. Can you even see the picture of the camera somewhere on this shelf? I don't see anything that would resemble the camera I'm looking for. Let's look up Argus 8mm and see what comes up. See how many different cameras Argus made in 8mm. A lot of projectors. Argus M3 turret 8mm camera. It's actually a really good looking camera. Argus M3. Argus M3. Did we see that before on the other website? We didn't see it through this line. Argus M4. So we have the Argus M3, which we know is slightly closer to ours. The M4. What's this? Is this it? All right, so this is a metermatic, vintage Argus metermatic zoom, 8mm camera, marked with Argus. All the same information, just rebranded, relabeled. Now, were they all called movie cameras? They were all called movie cameras. So, we know that the M4, the M3, the M5, I guess M could stand for movie. So, let's go back to the super... EM, which could mean electric, because this, this is, let's see, 
focusing manual, manual, manual. Okay, film type drive motor, DC micro motor. So that would require battery check button, yes. So EM must stand for electric movie. So when we look at this one, this one's obviously a electric movie. So that would make sense. So, so far we've tracked it down. So what would the original Argus M look like? Is there an original Argus M? Could M stand for metermatic? Let's see what Argus M stands for. Argus Model M. Okay. Argus Model M made its appearance in 1939, same year as the phenomenally, phenomenally su successful C3. Obviously not a video camera. Streamlined design, the ultra, ultra compact Model M represented a considerable contrast to the heavy boxy C3 rangefinder and seemed at the time to be a good candidate for rounding out Argus's offerings, which included highly successful A and C line of 35mm cameras as well as Argo Flex medium format twin lens box camera. Model M was a production for only about a year. Can we look at the M1? Might bring up some of the same information. Now we're looking at gaming PCs called the Argus M1. So that's not going to do me any good. M2. More gaming PCs. M3. All right. M3. We did recognize this camera. So we're between the M3, which I'm saying is newer than this camera, and the M, the original M. So there's a mix somewhere in between there. Because this looks too new. Though it is quite beautiful. It's a beautiful camera. 1959. Okay. So at least, at least as far as I can tell, we've tracked this camera from 1967 back to 1959. Because I'm still going to say that this is pre-M3. Though technically none of those are Zoom. So if we look up Argus... Zoom. I saw M4 label come up. Argus M4 Zoom. Okay. Argus M4 Zoom. That's obviously electric. Argus M4 Zoom, 8mm movie camera with Argus F1.9 10-27 zoom lens. Vintage 1960s. Super clean. Uh, vintage Argus M4 Zoom movie camera. Not tested. Four AA batteries and the motor works. So the, this is pre-electric. I mean, this is not... So this one here is pre-this. How in the world of the whole internet is there no information on this camera? Dude! No, wait. Don't, 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 don't move a muscle. 1956 Mansfield Holiday Metermatic Zoom. Ho don't you dare go. I don't want to lose that page. View this lot. Can I view this lot? Okay, here we go. We got another one. Holiday. Mansfield. Holiday metermatic zoom. All right, now we're going down a whole new rabbit trail. This is a whole new rabbit trail, but this is good. This is good. So, Mansfield. Holiday Zoom, because that is the camera. That is the camera. It says 1956 Mansfield Holiday Metermatic. Let's look up holiday. Let's look at Mansfield Metermatic. Mansfield Metermatic. Oh, would you look at that? We found it. Now we found. One with a triple turret. This one has only a single turret. Now, truth be told, I look at the lens here, and the lens totally... I look at the lens on this thing, and I really should have looked this up before, but I'm so used to lenses not always matching with the cameras. But if you look at the lens, the word Mansfield is right there. I didn't even think of that. All right, so I found this kind of funny. Take a look at this really quick. I just opened up this one here. I'm really excited about this because I think I've pinpointed it to 1956, which is really, really cool. But I want you to take a look at uh, this this picture right here and look at the M on the zoom there and see how it's broken. And then if you look at the M on, the, uh, on mine, it's literally broken in the exact same way. Now, I know it's not the same camera because mine's labeled as an M-Deco, but uh, yeah, this is... Um, 
This is really cool. So now we've figured out that it's a holiday rebrand. So once again, another system has purchased this camera and relabeled it yet again. Now, this is what I find interesting. The Zoom MM. Mansfield Holiday Zoom MM. So I'm curious, what is Mansfield Holiday? Mansfield Industries LTD Japan. Mansfield Industries was a Chicago-based company that distributed movie cameras, projectors, accessories, and imported cameras, which were rebadged with its logo, okay, rebadged with its logo or name from the late 1950s to the mid-1960s. It manufact manufactured some products all its own. Um, Spring Grove, Minnesota facilities, its various product lines had names like Fairfield, Holiday, Skylark, Starlight and Ultra. In April 1962, Mansfield Industries bought Argus. <laughs> okay, so in April 1962, Mansfield Industries bought Argus from General Telephone and Electrics in 1961, had purchased Sylvania, owner of Argus cameras since 1957. I love when stuff comes together. So the industry observers found that this curious development as Mansfield was a much smaller player in the photo industry, mostly known for its inexpensive imports, uh, let's see, serving the home movie market. Mansfield appropriated the better-known Argus name and named itself as a division of Argus. Now, Mansfield movie, uh, moved the Argus Mansfield headquarters to Chicago, Illinois, although some manufacturing continued at Ann Arbor, Michigan facilities for a few months longer. In 1965, Sylvania reacquired Argus without its main product base, Mansfield Industries, and that disappeared from the market. Okay, so this is the Holiday 2, but the Holiday 2 here has the triple turret. So if we look up the Mansfield Holiday, and we look at images, triple turret, triple turret, triple turret, all triple turrets. But here's the Holiday Zoom, 1950s. So if we look up Holiday Zoom, we hit jackpot. At least that one there. Holidays Zoom EE from Collectablend. 1954. Now, different lens, obviously. Mine's black. That one is obviously silver. But you know what? They did some misspelling there because they called that the Zoom EE, and this says Zoom MM on it. So, obviously hitting the wrong key on the keyboard apparently for that one. Guys, I think we found it. I think we found it. I'm gonna put this camera at, at 1954 to 1956. I'm gonna say 1956 for sure, but I think we found it at 1956. How cool is that? This is why, this is why I cannot get enough of doing research of history on cameras. And I absolutely cannot get enough of what of, of of this kind of stuff. I I never thought I was into history until until playing with stuff like this. I'm not into world history. I'm not into any of that kind of history. But when it comes down to technology history, especially camera history, I just I I can't I can't get enough of this at all. So all right, here's what we figured out. This guy here, the M Deco, rebranded from Argus, rebranded from Mansfield. Uh, so uh, how that happened, I have no idea, but we had some information on that. Long story short, roughly 1956. Very, very cool. Um, no way to look it up via serial number as far as I can tell, but still, being able to go through history, look through all the different websites, track this guy down to 1956 makes me a happy boy. So I'm very excited about this camera. Uh, what a great find for 20 bucks. So 2020... Minus 1956 makes this a 64-year-old camera. And still works, still runs 64 years later. This is awesome. So I'm going to take a lot of pride in putting this on display. Um, really, really fun trying to dig into the history of this stuff. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you so much uh, for taking this journey with me to learn a little bit more about the Mdeco Zoom, also known as The Holiday from Mansfield. How cool is that? Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Bye.
So obviously I'm going to have to figure out a place to put this guy in display here where you guys can see it since we've done all the research on this. Um, I kind of want to move it over here where Deku is. You guys are going to get mad at me if I move Deku. I'm, um, so M. Deku or M. Deco is going to move Deku over. Okay. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. By the way, I love Deku. He's cool. All right, so he'll 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 stay in camera, but uh, he's gonna stay in camera with a vintage M Deco directly akin to him. How about that? Does that look okay? Does that look good? Just such a beautiful camera. It's got to go on display. You know, that looks good. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.